hello good, good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to install a theme in Odoo so you all know that it is same as how we are installing a custom module in Odoo so some people are there who are not aware of the thing so recently we have received few emails asking how to install theme in Odoo like we need to change the UI of the Odoo community to similar to Odoo enterprise so we are in a thought of making a video on the same so to install a theme first of all you have to develop a theme of your own or you can just download any themes available in the Odoo app store so here in this tab I have already opened the Odoo app store here you can see the link is apps.odoo.com slash apps and in the top here you can see two filters are there that is apps or themes so I will just switch to themes so that we will get all the available themes in the store and here you can see there are a lot of paid themes as well as free themes so if I go to the most downloaded section here you can see we have got different themes which providing different UI for the Odoo community edition so what you can do is that you can just download any of the theme from here so here we have got different themes so I just open any of the theme so I will go with this theme that is Mac backend theme for Odoo version 12 so here if you scroll down you can see the ones this module is installed the UI of your Odoo will change like this so if I scroll down you can get different views so I'm not going into that I'll just click on download button and download the module so here you can see it's getting download so I'll click on ok you can see the module is getting loaded so there is some issues sorry no issues the internet speed is low so let's wait until the module has been download successfully so so let's wait display the progress of ongoing download it's, uh, wait just wait uh, remove from history if I just remove from history 9.2 it's 10 MP so we have to wait until this 21 MB has been downloaded so it depends on the size of the module and my internet connection is so little bit slow today you can see only 281 KB per second which is extremely slow slide so you can just wait until the module has been go downloaded so here you can see if you go to the apps and you can see it has been got another dependencies dependencies included dependencies so this module is dependent on another three modules Mac web utils Mac auto welcome and Mac utils so that's why it's getting higher MB that is 21 MP so let's wait it's almost completed so first of all the first step what you have to do is that you have to develop a module of your own or you can just download a free module free theme module from the store so you can see the module has been go downloaded now I will open it so I'll close it and I'll just go to directory so this is my downloads path and if I I'll just extract here so extraction is done so here you can see you are getting like this 12.0 so if I open this you will get all the four modules so I'll just copy all the modules I'll cut it from here and I'll go to my PyCharm and I'll paste it inside my custom add-ons path so this is my custom add-ons path where I will add my custom module so if, if you haven't got any custom add-ons path you can just create a folder here and specify that path to the folder in the corn file this is my order.com file and here in the add-ons path you can see I have specified this folder as custom so I'll just paste those copied module here where it is paste yeah paste so I'll paste all the copied modules here you can see indexing so just wait until all the copying is completed so it's moving so let's wait so I think all the module has been copied into the my custom add-ons path here you can see mark auto vacuum mark utils mark web theme and mark web utils so once you place the module into your add-ons path you have to restart the service so as I am using using PyCharm I can just click on this button to restart the service so if you are directly accessing the terminal you can just type the command to restart your service so service has been got restarted now I'll go to the UI and once a module is added what you have to do is that go to the apps menu so here you can see it's loading so you have to activate the debug mode so I'll just click on this debug mode extension to activate the debug mode so either if you haven't got this button here you can just go to the settings uh, settings menu and 
from there you can activate the debug mode or you can just directly type question mark debug equal to in the url for activating the debug mode like this as you see in the screen so the debug mode is activated now what we have to do is that we have to update our app list so as we have added new modules into our add-ons path we have to update the list so i'll just click on the update button so it's loading so that's done now i have to search for monk in the apps menu there is no module so i'll just remove this apps filter now you can see this is the download modules and here we have got the backend theme so i'll just click on the install button so right now our ui is like this so let's see the change once the module has been got installed so let's wait until the loading has been completed so if i go to the Odoo app store you will can see there are different themes available which are there are paid themes free themes etc so if i i'll just click on view all button view all button you can see there are different themes which are available freely so you can just download one from here you can see there are different Odoo themes which is for the website and you can see enterprise backend theme so some last day we have received a mail on asking how to change the ui of the Odoo community to similar to Odoo enterprise so for that person you can just download this theme enterprise backend theme which provides the enterprise theme for the community edition so just download this module extract it place it into place the module into your custom add-ons path restart the service come to the ui update the app list and search for the module and install it so here you can see still the module is loading so i think there is a lot of things to install that's why so here you can see muck utils is being getting installed so let's wait until the module has been got installed completely so muck utils the issue is that my system performance is low that's why it's taking time so it won't there won't be much delay if you are doing in your system so let's wait until the module has been got installed successfully so it's still loading so if you check in the log you can see right now it's another module mark web utils and you can see what happens in the log so let's wait until the, yeah, you can see finally mock web theme has been started get installing so you can see different files are being loading so let's wait mock web theme and finally you can see all the modules has been got installed now i'll go to the ui so you can see it's still loading so let's wait until the final loading has been completed Wait. Deleted I dot attachment dot ports with IDs. I think it's extremely slow today. Yeah, the loading has been completed. Now you can see the UI. Yeah, you can see the UI has been entirely changed. So if you check this, click this hamburger button, you can see all those menus here. So if you need to search some menus, you can just search here and it will show all the sub menus. You can just click on here and directly access all the menus necessary. And if you click here, you can see the UI has been entirely changed. So this is how you can install a theme in Odoo. So for that, what you have to do is that, first of all, you have to develop a theme of your own or you can just get a theme from the Odoo App Store. So if you go to the Odoo App Store, there are a lot of themes available which are free and paid. So just download one theme, extract the file, place the module into your add-ons path. Make sure that add-ons path is, the folder is specified in the conf file. Then restart the service come to the ui update the app list search for the module and just install it so once the theme is installed you can see your theme and your ui has been entirely changed and if i suddenly if i need to search some menus appointment you can just directly search here and if i need to go to appointments just click here you will be redirected to the corresponding menu appointments menu so that's how 
a theme can be installed in Odoo. So if you like our videos, please do click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the updates. So thank you for watching. Hope the delay or the slowness of the init and the system is won't disturb you. Thank you.